Joining me now from our bureau in New York City, founder of Golden Key Realty, Evie Angelakis. Evie, uh, the, the number that jumped out at me in quarter three of this year was 36 closes of escrow in Manhattan. <laughs> that's not exactly, I'm, I'm not sorry to laugh, but that's not exactly a robust figure. 12 escrow clothing, closings uh, per month in, in July, August, and September. That's not going to bring a smile to a, a realtor's face. Hi, Graham. How are you? How are you? Uh, the market has been plummeting in the third quarter because, like you mentioned before, uh, the increase on the mansion tax. It's called the mansion tax and is a tax that we have it in New York State only and no other state has it. Uh, and it has been always present in the market and it's a 1% tax that is paid usually by the buyer. It has nothing to do with a transfer tax that usually sellers will pay it. Uh, the 1% has been for properties that you buy for a million or above. However, this uh, tax was increased in, uh, in last April to 1.25%, so 25% of the rate for any property that is worth $2 million or above, and it goes all the way up to 4% on properties with a value of $25 million and above. Again, this is paid by uh, the buyers, and in $25 million property, basically, you're paying $1 million uh, in mansion tax, uh, and the increases took effect in July 1st, 2019. So every uh, possible contract that we had during the second quarter, mm -hmm. everybody tried to close before July 1st, right. 2019. And the, the number of the sales obviously were inflated because everybody was rushing to close and reach the deadline. Right. Uh, and what happened after July 1st, the market pretty much, we had uh, a drop of a about 50%, 50 to 55%. Okay, all right, all right, all right. Uh, let's let's go the back to sales. the let's go back to the so-called mansion tax. And I, I use the term so-called right. because it's New York for crying out loud. Uh, you know, a million right. dollar property <laughs> is not exactly an uncommon um, number, right? And that's now considered it's not a mansion. Let me let me ask you so what, these are the numbers. We're looking at the numbers right now, 3.9% uh, maximum. So it's basically a sales tax that the buyer is is paying here. Mm -hmm. um, you you would sell properties every day that are a million dollars or more, right? Mm -hmm. are, are, the, are they mansions? Correct. Are they what? Are they mansions? Would you consider them mansions? I mean, absolutely not. They weren't a mansion in 1989 either when the tax initially started. Mm. Uh, that's when they basically came up with this mansion tax. And the million dollars weren't buying your mansion back then. A uh, million dollar definitely does not buy your mansion today in New York City. And five million dollars doesn't necessarily buy your mansion either if we want get technical. Uh, Manhattan is very, very expensive. Uh, how, however, the mansion tax is there, is here to say. Uh, it's worth mentioning that the increase happened just for New York City, basically Manhattan and the boroughs around. So if you go in upstate New York, they're right. still lucky. They pay only 1%. The mansion tax is there, but, but it's still just 1%, which helps a little bit. But it gets worse, doesn't it? Because now the legislature, from what I understand, is considering a pied, a t I don't I don't speak French fluently. A pied a terre pied tax, a whatever. <laughs> it's a tax on second homes, right? So you throw this on Correct. top of that, plus the fact that the salt deductions, the tax deductions, uh, have mm -hmm. been affected and, and, and affects a lot of people uh, in New York City. What is the incentive now to buy as a realtor selling property in New York City? What's the incentive to buy? There's none momentarily, right now. We're just in a limbo at this point and we're waiting to see what's gonna happen. Uh, especially the talks that they sort of start talking about Pirater tax. Pirater, this started basically uh, in February before they, they did the increase in mansion tax. Uh, and this was, this started because we had uh, by Kenneth Griffin that bought uh, uh, the most expensive condo in the United States, right. which was for $238 million. So we had a few local uh, politicians that said, well, why, you know, all these people are buying so many uh, second homes in here and they're not even paying income tax. What they forget is that Kenneth Griffin was coming in New York to open, bring some new jobs, and he wanted to move the headquarters. Right. So they were going to create jobs. They were going to pay payroll tax. They were going to pay property tax, okay, because property tax is very high in, in condominiums of, of, of that range. They so they were talking a lot about Pirater, but we knew that the Pirater tax was completely going to cut the market tremendously because we have a lot of people that buy second homes in here because this is New York City. It's all about corporations. It's all right. about Wall Street. 
So because of the noise that came from the industry, they said, okay, we're going to leave Pied terre alone, but we're going to do an increase in mansion tax. Right. But, but you never know, right? The legislature, because this is the legislature could revive it again at, at any moment. You know that because you live in, in New York. It's very similar. Going, That's a problem. Yeah. It's, that, it's just like California. Yeah. And, and what they're doing is they're incentivizing people to leave the Empire State, unfortunately, which, again, is going to have an effect ultimately uh, on real estate values. And, and doing stuff like this is only going to accelerate people wanting to leave the Empire State. Want to see more videos like this? Click on the link below and subscribe to One American News on YouTube and call your cable provider and kindly demand that One American News is added to your lineup. Call and subscribe today.